This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. Hi and welcome to AFTV. I have a new fan camera with me. I have Adriana. Adriana? Yes. And you Well, it's actually, actually Adrian, but, but Adrian. everyone is calling me Adriana, so why not? <laughs> we'll, go with Adrian. we'll go with Adrian. I'll, I'll give you Adrian. I'm sorry I can't give you a nice fan camera. We've won and the team's all celebrating and we're all happy. It's a 2-1 defeat against Villarreal in the semi-finals in the first leg. Um, from where we watched it, it was, it was painful to watch. What were your thoughts, Adrian? Well, absolutely. Um, you are absolutely right. And first, first of all, first things first. So, crank it out. Uh, yeah. Greetings from Poland, anyway, to you, to you guys. Um, I'm so big uh, fan of AFTV um, for you for what you do, guys. Um, so, uh, well done. Thank and you. Thank you for getting me on, Cecil. No I appreciate this uh, really. Um, on the game, I'm really, really shocked again because. Week mm. in, week out, lately, we've seen this kind of performance. And I was less ho like hoping, okay, this is it. This is it. There's no more games like that. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah they're yeah. going to be, you know, repeatingly, uh, yeah. absolutely poorly, poorly, mm. poor play. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed. And yeah. let me start with the, maybe with the lineup because I was, I think everyone was shocked. Yeah, when, when, when they saw, when, yeah, when they saw, you know, this f false nine, for example, mm. when this the, the, this came from from Arteta, <laughs> he's like experiencing, you know, in a semi final. Yeah, yeah. What what, yeah. what does this mean? I mean, clearly for for me, you know, I've been supporting uh, Arsenal since two thousand and one. Yeah. I've been living in the UK previously, as I was mentioning to you before. But uh, you know, <sighs> this is. I think this shows me that this job is too big for him. Yeah. If he, I really, you know, I, after this performance, I really don't don't know if I want to see Arsenal in the final because look at Man United; they just beaten, you know, um, yeah, Rome Roma. six yeah. two. Come on, yeah. man! It's absolutely pathetic, you know, how how we played, you know, all over the all over the place. Our defense was poor, our mm. midfield was no existent. And we had no attack. So yeah. what was he trying to achieve with this? Because I, there's no consistency and you have to blame Arteta for it. Yeah. You know, the, the mentality of the team is weak. We went down to 10 men, rightly so. Arteta didn't take um, Ceballos off when he should have done it. Correct. He was so poor in the first half. Why didn't he change him during the halftime? Mm -hmm. No idea. No idea. Why do you think that? Why do you think that is, Adrian? Because it, it seems to do that throughout every week. Like we can clearly see there's a player not playing to their best of their ability, the best of their ability, and he just leaves them on. Maybe to like the seventieth minute, he doesn't really, he rarely makes changes at half time. I don't know what it is. Do you think it's his stubbornness? Do you think it's his arrogance? Or do you think because uh, we could all see it was wrong? I don't know what it is. Look, Cecil, you've been or you are um, a footballer yourself. Yeah. For for me, it's a lack of preparation. Lack of okay. look, they have they've had like weeks and weeks of preparation. Look yeah. at our last games against Everton, against Fulham. We were yeah. absolutely poor. Correct. And then we coming into this game all hyped up again that oh come on, this is semi-final against Villarreal. Obviously, this is not Barcelona, but we did make them look like <laughs> Barcelona against us. <laughs> this did. is absolutely ridiculous. We because did. because obviously, you know, uh, we didn't approach this game as we should have. Mm. Okay, semi-final. Come on, the way we played against Slavia Prague in Prague. Okay, this is one of the game which I enjoyed because from yeah. the very first minute to the last we minute, we were passionate, we were aggressive, we were at mm. it. Mm. Where the rest of the games we were absolutely all over the place. And mm. today, look at I don't know what's happening. For example, to Pate, he's been so weak. He's been. Yeah. He looked tired. He looked like out of his. You know. Ah, he didn't have a clue what was happening about. Yeah, Adrian, I, I agree with you. With all of this said, do you believe when we when we have them next week at home, do you believe we can still go through? Do you think things can turn around? Or is this, with what you've seen so far, are you doubtful? Because I'll tell you what I am, I'm going to be honest. Look, um, yeah, well, I'm su still surprised that we are still, at, you know, in the, in the game. Because, yeah. mind you, we only need one goal. Bearing in mind, obviously it will be goalless. But but um, 
you cannot even predict our how how we're gonna approach the next game. That's that's the worrying thing. Yes, but but, but this is the, our whole season. If you look at the games from the very beginning, maybe five played. maybe five games, which we played really up to the I don't know up to the standards of the footballers. Mm. Come mm. on, these guys, these guys, you know, being paid. <sighs> You know, mm. wages like like enormous, and then they go on the pitch and they play rubbish, absolutely yeah, rubbish. Right. You know, so right. yeah, we're gonna I, have I, a like I said, we're gonna have a Obama Young, we're gonna hopefully have a David Luiz, we're gonna have a we, we need those players back, we need Tierney yeah. back because we don't have the characters on the pitch, as you could see today. Yeah, I think it was a if it was it was a very bad decision to put Sebias uh, together with with uh, uh, Pate because Sebias is very weak. You know he should have he should have brought Chaka back to the back to the midfield. Who should he have played left back then? If if, if he moved Jack into the midfield, who would you have liked to have seen play left back? Cedric Soares. Yeah. Cedric Soares. Mm -hmm. He did nothing wrong. You know he what we what we did luck today is the basics. Mm. You know keep keep the ball moving, but keep the keep the uh, defense tight, yeah. and and you know play up to our standards. Mm. And we were like all over all over the shop. So so I'm really I'm really hoping that we can turn this tide around. But by looking at what's been happening over the past few games, mm. I really I really doubt it. Whether you know you tell me, Cecil, do you really believe that Arteta um has lost the dressing room? Yeah, um, because... yeah, I'm kind of swaying towards I'm, I'm um, well, I am on Arteta on the out, Arteta outside, and what you said there before is it's it's more the consistency of the team. We've had like five good performances this season, but in in all of that as well, Arteta has only picked the same starting starting eleven for the two games in a row. I think once this season, there's no pre you said preparation just doesn't seem right ever. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my thoughts on that. But Adrian, before we force you, let me ask you: Where do you stand on the manager right now? I, I was uh, giving him a few more games after, let's say, uh, when we won against Manchester United. Yeah. But but the losses against Burnley, for example, against you know Fulham, against teams, we should. You know the sloppiness we 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 we've had over the game over the past months, and mm -hmm. seriously, that that season is just uh, is is unbearable to watch. Mm -hmm. I'm I I'm seriously sorry, but even even if he gets to the final, I think he has to go. Yeah, that, uh, that, this is so, um, Adrian. I feel exactly the same, bro. This is exactly this team is too big for this job is too big for him. So, so mm -hmm. it's honestly it's 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 really too big. You mm. know, and 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 each week, each we can we can see that on the page that you know that he doesn't know what he's doing at the moment. Correct, correct, Adrian. Listen, thank you for for your words at this time. Before we go, please let them know where to find you. You've spoken so well on this fan cam. Let them know your socials or if you have a channel. Let them know. So, guys, uh, please, uh, if you can follow me on the Malaga Music Band. In you know, I'm trying my best <laughs> to, 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 to create some music in Poland. If you're going to be somewhere here around, just uh, give me a shout and I'll be your tour guide maybe in Krakow. I live in Krakow. Yeah. I used to live in Warsaw and previous to that, I, I lived in London. But uh, yeah, please uh, go on my channel on Instagram, music, uh, Malaga Music Band. And Cecil, once again, thank you very much. Thank say you. hello, say hello to everyone in AFTV, especially Robbie, because I admire him, what he does and what what he has to put up with. Even <laughs> recently from Ray Parla, Ray Parla, yeah. you little. <clears throat> I'm so, I'm so, you know. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, Adrian. Listen, <sighs> thank you so much for speaking. Thanks very much. Let's we'll speak to you again soon. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.